So you may have heard the reports that the Action 3 has a bit of an issue with focus. Now, DJI have released an update which they say will fix this issue. But does it? So I've done experiments, similar to the ones I did in my last video, to see if this new update has improved things over the previous version of firmware. So let's get into it. So this footage now is prior to the update and as you can see the face is clearly out of focus. Uh, sorry for the oxymoron there. Now looking at the GoPro footage by comparison, it is definitely better. So I decided to run the update and let's see how we get on now. So there you go, promising. Then you go closer and you can see, ooh, it looks overly sharpened and still, even with a big distance, way over 30 centimeters, the face is still out of focus. And here's a shot from before the update for comparison. Here we're in a sort of darker environment, but you can see, still too blurry. So in this fixed landscape shot, on the DJI you can see it looks overly sharpened. And here's the GoPro by comparison, a very pleasing image. Now I wanted to try an experiment, so I put them side by side, and then I added a lot of sharpness over sharpening the GoPro image, and it's funny how similar it starts to look. So with a sharpness test sheet and suspending the cameras about 46 centimeters above, before and after the update shots don't really show much of a difference. But if you compare the after shot with the diopter and without, you can see that with the diopter, there is an improvement. Now here's a GoPro shot by comparison. You can see it's in focus. And when you add the diopter to the GoPro, it makes it out of focus, showing that it was in focus already. So I moved it above up to about 60 odd centimeters to give it a better chance. And still not really much difference between pre-update and post-update in my opinion. But again, with the diopter, in focus with the diopter compared to not. And here we go, the GoPro again, in focus, and adding the diopter makes it very blurry, showing it was in focus already. So I wanted to repeat another test that I did in my previous video. So having one of these Falcon boxes at 30, 40, and 60 centimeters away. And as you can see, all out of focus. But adding the diopter, yep, you guessed it. It's now in focus again, which is the same result as pre-update. So there you have it, with and without the diopter. And here we have the GoPro, a 300% zoom, still in focus. In order to be fair, I decided to show you a few examples of real world usage. So the top image is the GoPro 11, the bottom is the DJI Action 3. Now, no zooming in here, so I just want your opinions. What do you think of these two comparisons footage wise? I think it's fair to say for most people, you're not really gonna be zooming in on your footage. So it may not even be a problem for you. Uh, so which do you prefer? So armed with all that evidence, it's clear that there's something going on with, with my Action 3. So whether this affects all cameras, I still don't know. But to be fair to DJI, I think it's an excellent camera. And despite the lack of focus, it still is quite a pleasing image. So for a lot of people, it might not even be a problem. But for me and people like me, it just seems kind of a fundamental thing in an action camera for it to actually be in focus because it has no autofocus. You can't change the focus at all. It is what it is. And if that isn't quite right, well, unfortunately for me, it makes it a no-go. So until we hear more from DJI, I suppose hold fire on buying any. If you really need an action camera that's reliable and in focus, then you should probably look at the Hero 11 at the moment. If you want to be kept up to date with this story, then subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when any more videos go up. And as ever, I'll see you in the next one.